Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions, and thank you for our time together. All this weekend, I want to ask that you bring all of your friends, all of those young people that got born again last week in the Youth Harvest Conference, bring them to the services. I'm going to teach the young people a special sermon called First Truths. Big words, big decisions, big changes that have happened in your life. It's going to be a great time. But right now, I want us to focus on Galatians chapter 2, beginning with verse 1. Paul said, then after 14 years, 14 years after his salvation, I went up again to Jerusalem with Barnabas, taking Titus along with me. I went up because of a revelation and set before them, though privately, before those who seemed influential, the gospel that I proclaimed among the Gentiles in order to make sure that I was not running or had run in vain. Was not running or had run in vain. Now I want you to notice the Apostle Paul was very clear about checking his doctrine. Now this is Paul, the man who writes over half of the New Testament. He said, I sat down with the brethren in Jerusalem. I, I sat down with these men who had been with Jesus from the beginning. And he said, I made sure that the gospel that I preached was right. That I had not been living my life and running the race in vain or that right now I was not running the race in vain. He said, I wanted to make sure that my doctrines were correct. Now, I want to challenge some of you young men and young women today. You, you read something and you get some little revelation and you get some great idea and you want to preach something that nobody else has preached before. I'm sorry. That's not the gospel. I'm sorry. Everything in the Bible has been preached a gazillion times. There are no new revelations. Quit trying to be unique. Quit trying to be new. Quit trying to create a new fad. And instead, sit down with older pastors who have walked the walk, who have lived the life, who have studied the Bible their entire life, and make sure that the doctrines you preach are correct. You wonder where a lot of the false doctrine comes from? It comes from some little revelation that somebody has. And they never check it. They're too proud to be like Paul and check it with those who have gone before us.